Hello everyone. This video is about uh, CAC 591 DevOps project milestone one, in which we are trying to create a build server that is capable of doing all these things like uh, triggering a build in response to a Git hook, or, uh, or or using a different job task for different branches. So this is our repository. Uh, in this. Uh, we have a normal maven test app which is created using maven so we are using maven for build automation as well as dependency management uh, this maven test app is a, a very generic app that has been created using simple maven archetype which is just contains a hello world code um, uh, well maven also creates a test case for that for which it uses a j unit so if you see the pom.xml for maven it has a dependency on junit so that's how we are managing the dependency over here for this project so if we want any other uh, any other uh, packages we can add it into the dependency in pom.xml um, let's test how the maven works So uh, in the Maven test tab, I can run Maven compile, which will compile my uh, compile my source code, which is in Java, and it will create a target folder, which will contain all the classes that have been created uh, after this compile. And I can also package it, which will create a jar file for my uh, source code in the same target folder. So this is the jar file maven test tab 1.0 snapshot.jar but we want to do all this using um, continuous integration so we are using Jenkins for continuous integration uh, which will trigger a build task automatically after some particular instance like hitting a URL or using uh, uh, if we push any commit on our repository and all. So let's clean this uh, uh, package as well as class files that we created using Maven and we want to do it through uh, Jenkins. So we have set up Jenkins on our localhost uh, port 8080. So this is the home page for Jenkins. Currently we have three, three build jobs. So first one we tried with uh, a remote repository on the github.com and it was working fine but uh, we want to do it for our local code so we have a couple of jobs for our local uh, repository one is for master branch and we have another branch called dev and we have created a different uh, different build job for that repository the only difference between these two are like uh, um, the branch specifier here in in, in this config we are specifying the branch as master and repository URL as our local repository whereas in dev branch we are specifying branch name as dev there's the only difference so we have made sure that whenever any get is uh, whenever any commit is happening to um, to our repository appropriate uh, job will be triggered and we are achieving this using git hooks so let me show you our git hook uh, post commit hook file contained so this is our post commit hook file contains in this we are getting the branch name using command uh, git rev parse and we are comparing it with the master if it is a master then we are executing the corresponding master branch specific uh, build job otherwise we are executing the dev branch specific build job and at the end we are just uh, printing out that build is triggered for which branch so let's have the demo for this so I'm currently on branch master let's say I do currently I don't have any changes on the master branch uh, I do some changes in readme.md file say And 
uh, save this I can see the status as modified and I commit this um, on the master branch so the UI shows that build trigger successfully on the branch master and in Jenkins if you see on the master this number 45 build has been triggered automatically which is at the timestamp 259 we, uh, we can say it's output in the console the, the build has been finished successfully now let's do it for our uh, dev branch I'll check out to dev branch now I don't have any changes on the dev branch currently so let's say I again modify a readme.md file for dev branch so this is the dev branch and let's see I make some changes which are being shown in the status and I commit this so it shows that build trigger successfully on the branch dev and if I go into the Jenkins for dev branch specific so you see dev branch specific uh, build task has been triggered automatically so that's how we are you uh, triggering the um, triggering the build using git hook after that uh, apart from these two we also have configured uh, uh, emails for each uh, failed build or unstable will build we are sending out email to my a gmail account and so for for a lot of failed emails you can see all the um, failed email that I have received on my gmail account and um, also we have make sure that we we also have a post build action we are executing a script this script is just uh, writing out the whatever the build is on particular branch on at what time and with its URL so we have all these uh, environment variables available over here so that's what we are printing it our in our temporary build log file so I'll show you the content of build log so you see these are the two builds that we just ran so one for the master and one for development branch so it also mentions the URL which you can go and check out the status or output um, for that particular build so and in the end for the build history so Jenkins does the task of maintaining build history and display on the U displaying it on the UI so like for the dev branch we, we we have this build history which we ran for for this particular branch uh, uh, we can also get this build list using the api uh, so we have different rest apis are being exposed for xml or for json which can which also contains all the um, builds that are being happened on that particular job So that's all from my side. The, this is how we uh, our build server uh, supports all these capabilities that are being mentioned for Milestone One. Thank you so much for watching.